hello guys here welcome back to the channel welcome back to Bodu tv yes we are on and we are still finding solutions to ghana's uh should I say challenges or problem we are playing against sudan on uh, that is uh tuesday yes and a very big match that we have on tuesday and we are finding solutions to it and i have three uh solutions solution or solutions solutions okay so I have three uh, ways that Ghana can beat Sudan, okay? If uh, if uh, Otuado and his boys are able to actually put these things in place, combine everything, I will be able to uh, beat Sudan coming uh, Tuesday. Yes, 1 p.m. Ghana time. Very big, my daddy, we have. It's not easy. So this is the uh, match of destiny. If you're able to get the three points, it means that we have no a chance of qualifying okay but if we lose if you lose this game <laughs> you lose and then it's like, no, I don't know. but so burkina Faso has become first african country to qualify for the 2025 uh african in morocco their first country okay yeah we know morocco has already qualified because for them they are hosting it but those who are playing the qualification uh burkina Faso has become first country to qualify so that one there Ghana will be maybe the last country to qualify, but obviously we know that Ghana will qualify. It's not going to be easy, okay? But before I take into the three things Ghana must do to beat Sudan, Charlie, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, okay? Hit the notification bell, share the video to your friends, like, and also do it to comment. Please comment and comment again, and also like the video for me. And uh, Facebook is Bedu, Instagram Bedu TV, TikTok Bedu TV six. Twitter or X is Bidu News TV. So follow us on all these social media handles. So now let's go into the match proper. Let me tell you about it. So we we'll finished with the first round of the qualifiers, okay, for the 2025 uh, African Cup of Nations. First match, we play against uh, Angola and they beat us 1 0 in Kumasi, or by Sports. The second match, we went to Morocco to play against uh, that's in Niger, okay, and that match we drew uh one one okay <laughs> second match we play against uh kosia pia sudan and also that we drew zero zero goalless uh draw okay we withdrew and uh so it means that we have two points out of the possible nine angola top of our group and angola is having nine points angola beat sudan angola beat niger angola beat ghana so they have nine points uh, on, on, on on the log okay so tomorrow 15th october if angola beat niger uh, which is likely is going to happen okay if angola beat niger it means that yes angola uh, have, uh has also qualified for the tournament and he left with ghana uh sudan and uh, niger one needs to follow angola and qualify but those are having the big chance to qualify is uh niger uh, so uh sudan has a stand because sudan beat uh niger okay and now so they lost to angola then they drew against ghana so they have four points and ghana is having two points niger is having one point the one the point that they had from ghana okay so going to this game is not going to be easy it's going to be tough okay so these are the three things i think ghana uh if they do they'll be able to beat uh, that is, uh, sudan number one on the list is they need to convert chances guys ghana need to convert chances we saw against Angola in Kumasi Rice Sports Stadium. They created numerous of chances. They created chances. Chance upon chances. And they missed all. And later in the game, 80, 87 minutes, then Angola scored against uh, Ghana. We went to uh, Morocco to play against uh, Niger. The same thing. We played that blue efforts. We could buffer. We buffer. How do you say do one shot out of play or out of them and they'll know where pa how do you say do you score? We know, uh, we, like we thought, say, okay, how do you say do you have score? So we'll be able to hold on. The same thing, 80 feet minute or 86 minute. Oh, Niger, Charlie, the equalize. And before that, we wasted chance upon chance. And even the one we play against uh, Sudan, the across post, that one there, I'm not the one who will talk about this. Empty po, Kudus. Empty po, Nike. Empty po, Semenyon. Jordan, Charlie, they, so if Ghana is able to convert these chances, if, 
Chad, Ghana and uh, Sudan, we, chances we created more than 30, 30 said is uh, all of them. If we're able to score even two or three out of these chances, even against the Sudan, we score even one per Kabbalah's time, the story will be different. So they need to convert the chances. And when they, we do put in also Munyabotre, we probably need to talk to the guys. But guys, Munyabotre, you are professional players. You play in Premier League, uh, Bundesliga, you play in La Liga, French League, and sorry, so you, therefore, relax. Put the ball, pa, 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 short. Pa. More promise, uh, if you're able to convert our chances, guys, if you're able to convert our chances, definitely, we will be able to beat Sudan coming to the 15th October. We need to beat Sudan. We need to score them. But before we can score them, unless we convert our chances, if you create 100 chances to win and you don't convert them, that is a problem. We try to say that, oh, yeah, when a team creates chances, it means that it's positive. Yeah, it is positive. But Charlie, if someone said that it's not positive, you create, you score. You create, you score. Not that you create and leave it, you create and you don't. Guys, so that's number one. They need to convert chances. Number two, to take advantage of set pieces. Advantage of set pieces, okay. So Ghana against Sudan. That's my case study. Ghana had not, let, let me check. I, I want to check the number of uh, the, uh, the set pieces we had, okay. Numero, set pieces are not on count of Ghana, Sudan. More in fact, I want to, I want to, you know, so I want to say it off her and say, Maybe on Mega say corner, corner. Where the corner? Ghana had sixteen corners, sixteen good corners. But who crying where a boy like us? Oh, where they are putting up a boy P. Challenge sixteen good corners. Fouls. Ghana had fouls. Okay, we're in for. Yeah, in your fouls, we have been finna. We finna grab in your part. On base or a or badge. We had twenty three fouls. Twenty three fouls in Ghana. It's me now. So 23 fouls, 16, uh, 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 if I may say, uh, corners. Now 16 plus 23, 2024, yeah, higher on 16 plus uh, 23. 39 set pieces, so 39. None of them put it to me. Um. So if you're able to convert these chances, sorry, if you're able to just set pieces, you convert it, set pieces, uh, guy, you better share with them. We will not have problems of oh yeah we lose we now we come we now we say no 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 we need to convert our chances chances we say converted chances you know then set pieces and we need to try to deal with it so the last one I want to talk about is a uh, uh, Sudan for no more more than be Charlie that we need to be careful with the breaks of Sudan that that is a counter attack. If you're able to hold on to the counter attack, Charlie, we will score them. Because on board Ghana, we saw how the Akosia Pia know how to play away game home games. And he likes to sit back and attack. Everyone who has followed Akosia Pia from when he was coaching Asante Kotoko, he came to Black Stars, he went to Sudan to coach Ah Khartoum, Charlie. For, he, for him, he will sit back and break counter. But shows this year we, we score uh, Egypt 6 1 at Kumasi by a sports game. I was happy. Can't I'm or the four goals? Can't I tie? As someone would just a more general anymore. No one's slow muntai needs him. Mugu it all. The munya ya pa ne dim. Nya ya pa ne dim. So if you're able to hold on their counter attack, we take advantage of set pieces and we, we convert our chances, uh, guys. It's going to be an a very easy crime on the black stars. A very cool job on black stars. They need to convert chances. And convert the chances and then goals. Set pieces. 39 set pieces. Both corner and free kicks. Throw wins the cramp on them. So they need to work on these stuff. And I know if they work on these things, uh, guys, definitely Ghana will be able to win uh, coming 15th October. 2024 and the AFCON we need to qualify we need to qualify for the AFCON guys and I know I, I believe in the blasters I believe in Kudus Mohamed Jordan Ayu experienced player in the team I believe in this they, they, will, they will do their job let's hope for the better 
let's support the guys and i know definitely there are good things coming from these guys guys don't forget that you subscribe to the channel facebook's bedu instagram bedu tv tiktok bedu tv6 twitter or x is bedu news tv ghana will win this game but let me know what you think share your thoughts with me share your ideas and don't forget also to like uh, the video and share it to your friends we will meet again i know the next video i, I, I will do uh, charlie black stars will win we meet again